Kenya Kwanza. A great woman, a formidable lady, Alice Mudoni Wahome, to speak. I will gladly adopt that name. <laughs> uh, Your Excellency William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency Mamarecho Ruto, the newly launched or unveiled running mate, Rigadi Gashagwa, and your wife, the entire team of Kenya Kwanza, its leadership, and our team members that have been pushing on in this particular Hasura Movement uh, team. Your Excellency, I was one of the contenders for the running mate. With my sister Anne Waigoro, I want to say that we were fully engaged in very deep, extensive consultations the whole of yesterday and even there before. And that uh, <clears throat> when we now narrowed down, we did agree that His Excellency now has a running mate to be unveiled today. I want to congratulate you, Your Excellency, and also congratulate the Honorable Rigadi Gachagua for that achievement. Having said that, Your Excellency, this entire team, now Kenya Kwanza, has gone through very serious scrutiny by the Kenya public. Your Excellency, you are leading a team that has also been fully tested and attacked by the head of state, the President of the Republic of Kenya, with an intention of bringing down the team so that he can continue in succeeding himself. Your Excellency, I want to remind you that a few years ago, I said that Uhuru Kenyatta is the single most existential threat to the country, democracy, and economy of the Republic of Kenya. I dare say, I believe I have been proved right, not a prophet, but I may have foreseen that this will be coming. Your Excellency, I now want to say that I'm a committed member of this team. I believe in teamwork, team spirit, and I'm sure what we have achieved today is another milestone in the journey to State House on 9th of August this year. Your Excellency, you have alluded, I think not alluded, I beg your pardon, I heard you pronounce yourself to the question of gender equity. I will remind you of this date. Should you turn out to be like Uhuru Kenyatta? Because we have not achieved for the last 10 years the two-third gender principle, and it is obviously achievable because Kenyans wrote it down in the Constitution. So I hope I don't become your most fiercest uh, critique in the government when we form it, because I have no doubt, Your Excellency, that you are committed and you'll be able to have that. Your Excellency, I won't be long. In another two minutes, I'll sit down. But I want to say of two things, which maybe it's only a woman who can say. You have talked about economic model, bottom-up economic model, which actually is, I believe, is your blueprint. It will be maybe first priority on your blueprint. Your Excellency, that means we are expecting as a nation economic reforms that will give Kenyans economic freedom so that a woman who goes to bed wakes up the following morning pregnant, sometimes having planned for a baby, 
maybe gets even two, or having planned for none and gets three, and has to carry that baby for nine months, then go to hospital, and the first thing she's asked is whether she can pay to deliver a baby, which obviously is a national duty, but it becomes her personal responsibility and that of her unemployed husband or father of the child, because sometimes it is father of the child. Your Excellency, that woman and all Kenyans are entitled to accessible, free health care in terms of bringing up that baby, possibly for a period that that baby gets out of the nursery. Your Excellency, I would urge you, most areas of Kenya don't have domestic, clean and domestic water. I'm speaking to real issues for women. It is possible to have drinking domestic water in every home because these are the people we are seeking to lead. If you adopt the electricity connectivity model, which has reached more or less in every primary school, you can be able to reach every home. At least we give domestic water as we plan to provide irrigation water. Finally, Your Excellency, you know that every shilling in Kenyan pocket matters. Kenyans will call us to account for how many people we have made a difference during our five years. And I said, I want to repeat, I have no doubt you will be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. How many Kenyans we made a difference, how much more money we put in their pocket from where we are with an, an economy that is on its knees. So I believe we shall be using data numbers. Finally, Your Excellency, the question of gender, take it seriously. It is achievable. I know you can. The Azimio were unable, Your Excellency, today to unveil their candidate. They are waiting for your script. We have unveiled our running mate, your running mate, Your Excellency. Let them not tell us that the running mate because it's a woman that is sufficient or they are ahead of this team. It's not one position that will make uh, meaning in the question of gender equality. It is the numbers that we are looking for and therefore your position of 50% cabinet is very welcome and I congratulate you for taking that position. And finally, Your Excellency, that you have also said that in every government uh, arrangement, appointed positions, Your Excellency, you will stand with the law, within the law and the Constitution. We will support you on that. And I know Kenyan women will be looking for you seriously after today to vote for you so that then they can achieve what they have tried to achieve the last 10 years. So Your Excellency, don't falter on that. As Mio Tukonanyini, now bring your candidate to Patane Kwadebe, we will be winning this election. They told us you will not be in the ballot. In the next three, year, three weeks, we will be escorting you to IBC to Kutane Nawao Kwadebe. I will be there in the journey. Let me very briefly ask uh, my good brother Irungu the party leader of the Farmers Party of Kenya. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and the Fifth President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, for this opportunity to be here on the very historic uh, occasion. Uh, let me also take this opportunity.